welcome back everyone so in this video i will be explaining that how you can upgrade to windows 11 2 3 h2 without any kind of data loss without using any kind of usb or any kind of windows 11 iso so that you can unlock a lots of new feature with the last and final update of windows 11 so before that let me show you if i click on my windows search and type windows version the short form winwar and hit the enter key so right now you can see i have the 22h2 version of windows 11 and this is what i will be upgrading in front of you okay so what you have to do next right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on settings now here from the left in menu option scroll down and click on windows update now here in the windows update scroll down a bit and you will find windows insider program click on it and then it says try new future before the release and give feedback so you have to click on get started now it will ask you to link a microsoft account so if you have one then you can just link it and if not then you can go to any of your browser create a microsoft account and then you can come to this option so click on link an account choose what kind of account do you have so i just have a simple email account so i will click on the second option click continue now type your email here click next now type the password and then click on sign in click on next click on continue and now here it will ask you choose your insider channel so you can go with the canary uh, but i'd recommend to go with the beta but if you want you can go with the canary channel as well so click on beta channel then click on continue click continue and now it will ask you to restart but before restarting uh, we just have to disable safeguard from the group policy editor because many times it can create a problem so click on restart later minimize it now click on your windows search type gp edit click on edit group policy now in case if you are not able to open the group policy editor it means you are using windows 11 home edition and for that i have already created a video that how you can enable this option so you can check that video enable group policy editor then you can come to this option now once you come up here from the left in menu option in the computer configuration click on administrative template then on the right hand side click on windows components now here scroll down and you will find windows update double click on it then look for manage update offered from windows update double click on it and here it says disable safeguard for feature update so click on it and choose it to enabled then click on apply click on ok and close it okay and now you can go back to your windows update and then click on restart now all right the computer has been restarted now and now again if i make a right click on the windows icon and go to settings from the left in menu option if i click on windows update and this time you will see that there are lots of update available including windows 11 insider preview that will contain a new update of 23h2 okay so these all are now downloading so kindly let it get downloaded all right so finally the updates are downloaded and installed so what i have to do now simply click on restart and now when the next time the computer will be coming up it will be updated with 2.3 h2 with all the new update and features all right so finally the computer has been restarted now and if i go and click on my windows search type about your pc and click on it and now here you can see we have the addition windows 11 pro version 2.3 h2 and even all the features have been unlocked now now what you will have to do in order to check it let me show you a few of them if i open the file explorer so you can see we have the gallery option now that is only available with this version of windows 11 and if i click on gallery i can just access my phone photos add a folder and browse all the photos in my computer very similar to android phone or your iphone so this is how you can upgrade to 2.3 h2 version of windows 11 and hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye